school in this video uh, I want to do no edits and um, I posted this because I posted a story the other day when I was going through just my Cornford MK50 and when I kind of watched it back I just recorded it on my phone and I really like the sound of just the microphone from the camera as opposed to, um, I need to check. So I had to check there that I'm looking at the camera there. <laughs> I'm so used to looking at a big Canon uh, camera. Um, but yeah, I, I really liked the sound and it, it kind of reminded me when I first started doing YouTube videos where I would just get my camera and hit record and go. Um, and that sound is kind of like people in the room with me kind of thing, you know? So I wanted to do an old school video today. So let me know if you enjoy this. Let me know if you don't. Um, but yeah, for, for ages, I was like, oh, I've got to do it clean and s as sleek as I can get it. Uh, I can't get it as sleek as some you know, guys on YouTube who are just magnificent, guys and girls. Anyway, but also why I wanted to use the kind of uh, the, the camera, <laughs> the camera microphone, I wanted to talk about kind of scatting and singing or humming while you play the guitar. Um, I think it's a really cool thing to do and learn to do and be able to do because it gets you away from just playing licks all the time. Um, I'm sure you may have been there when you're you're playing, you're, you're with friends or playing over backing tracks and you're like, oh, this lick I learned the other day, I wanna get this in where to me, I think a, a, a solo or lead guitar playing or something, it should be just, like, like I'm talk like just then, right? I paused, because I was thinking of the words, I know what I want to say, but the correct words, how I can articulate my vocabulary out to you so that you understand, you know? We take pauses, we take breaths, I haven't necessarily planned this. I know what I want to say, but I'm not reading this. This isn't scripted. So if you think of a script as a lick, you know, I'm just kind of going with it. So, um, that's what I mean by about scatting. Um, sometimes, like there, I went high straight away. Uh, you might not be able to hit the notes vocally, but if you can hear them, and then kind of work it out on the guitar where you're gonna go with that. So I've got my loop pedal, right? And I've just put a little chord progression down. And I'm just gonna go for a minute so you can see what I'm talking about. And then we'll uh, dissect it a little bit, all right? So this is an A, this little blues in A, D and E, all right? So uh, I have no idea where I'm gonna start I might start where I just did that, so. So, <laughs> I 
should have took more breaths there when I was playing. Uh, so. <laughs> So if I muck up, I can then go back to hit to play what I'm trying to hear on the guitar. So there. So you may be, I mean, I'm, I'm not far from the greatest singer. Some of that was probably a bit out of tune if I was to watch this back. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to convey what I'm hearing in my head um, as opposed to, you know, a lick from the Steve Ray Vaughan lick book or something. With nothing wrong with that. It's amazing. You know what I mean? <laughs> But it's just trying to, you know, not having, just go and get to the point you can play what you hear in your head. So then if you're trying to come up with a lick, it's like, oh, what's that idea I'm hearing in my head, you know, and you can start humming out the notes and, and start to get that way, you know. So uh, what can we do here? So, um, lick you ever seen dirty dancing she's doing that new idea there <laughs> time how that was happening uh, let's change key so get my ears going now Try just singing a line, a note, a couple of notes. See how you go, get on the guitar. So now I've got. <laughs> no, so even just something like that, where well, you're doing a triad, 
makes me think of Ghostbusters, you know, um, do re mi egon. Um, but sometimes things like that, nursery rhymes, start humming it and then getting it on the guitar, trying to find it, to the point then where you can... <laughs> nursery rhyme things try that you know being a new dad now I've been doing lots of silly nursery rhyme stuff why I'm playing to my little boy you know and then I was like I want to put chords to it so I like um um what was it um so I was like I want to put a chord to it so That and then and I kind of got it that way, you know. So it's like, oh, tunkle tunkle, and it will start. But then you want to instead of it just being notes, put it in the chords, build it up that way. That's just from using ears. So your ear and about a sing what you play you know any great blues guitar player i'm thinking of the great you know um bb freddie uh albert you know the kings you know they all kind of i mean obviously george benson is the king of this <laughs> you know what i mean um but it's a it's a good thing to start trying to do a little bit you know so hopefully you enjoy that uh, let me know what you think if you like this kind of uh little format of uh it's a bit more i find this is more intimate you know it's almost like you're you're in the room with me having a lesson or something you know or we're just two guys hanging out um but uh, yeah so the audio might not be as good uh or maybe you prefer it who knows um it's interesting playing with the sound coming right out of here <laughs> so uh Anyway, I've been Mike Bradley, you've been you. Thanks for your love and support as always. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Mike Bradley signing out. Bye.